new from 88 Films is Murphy's Law, released in 1986, directed by J. Lee Thompson, who did 10 to Midnight and part of the Canon movie range. Uh, this is Charles Bronson really stretching himself here as a grizzled cop who's down in his luck. <laughs> I really kind of like these uh, characters. He can play it with his eyes closed, but of course, he adds a certain amount of gravitas to the performance as Murphy in this one. And we get the inclusion of Kathleen Whitlow as Annabella, uh, a young kind of tearaway who's going to uh, encounter Murphy many times throughout the movie, often getting the better of him as well. The MVP of this movie is Carrie Snodgrass, who comes into it um, as Joan early on. And this uh, is a kind of woman with a grudge. And it's unusual to see such ferocity in a woman of this character. She is fueled by revenge. She wants to take out uh, her her revenge on Murphy and a few other people that she deems to have wronged her and she phones Murphy in a, a rather fun sequence and says that he is going to, uh, she's going to make him pay and going to make his life torture until the moment that he's finally put down like the dog he is. And Murphy doesn't have a clue who it is and he's always butting heads with these gangsters because it's the local uh, big men of the town but again he's just steamrolling over them not getting any further uh, on to figure out who's behind all this. He gets framed for a murder and a wonderful sequence uh, when Snowgrass kind of knocks him unconscious, takes his car, drives to a place, takes his gun, shoots people, drives him home and kind of leaves him abandoned outside of his house. Um, so it's his gun, his car, he was there, it's got his fingerprints on everything and he's properly stitched up for this job he didn't do. While he's in jail, he dumps into Annabella again uh, when he decides to use her and escape. And the two of them are kind of tethered together. And I thought this was going to be a much longer getaway sequence where they were kind of tied together. But um, it, it goes on for a good bit. There's a helicopter chase in it, which was surprising and really fun, coming to a, a really exciting climax. Uh, pretty soon they're untethered, but Annabella's kind of come round to Murphy, kind of likes him and kind of wants to help him on his way. Finds that father figure that she's never quite had. And seeing these two characters bond was actually really enjoyable. I know it's very tropey and it's very manipulative, but I liked it. I liked both of these characters and I wanted them to come together. Kathleen Whitlow, um, often throughout this movie, offers insults that are kind of PG safe throughout it. You know, she's saying rude things, but in a more polite way than you would expect. And they're just ridiculous every single time she starts on these incredibly funny, incredibly silly, but one of these little things that just made the character come to life a little bit more for me. Um, you get Bronson as the hero as you want. Um, you get Annabella that's kind of stuck with him to help. That, that puts a little bit of danger um, and Murphy's revenge missing, I suppose, as well. Revenge on the revenge. Uh, and you get Carrie Snodgrass as just an ultimate bad guy. She is terrific in the role, adding real menace and dread to every scene that she's in. She offers such weight. Uh, you can sense the vengeance and the sheer evilness escaping from this character who will stop at nothing to get done what she needs to get done and nobody will get in her way. Wonderful action set pieces as well and a real just 80s fun action movie that I can wholeheartedly recommend. This one was a really easy watch. You don't need to think about too much watching it. You just throw it on, you roughly know where the story is going to go. So you just sit back, enjoy the ridiculous action, the fun one-liners, that ridiculous nonsensical insults, and just a terrific bad guy versus good guy story. I'd love to know your thoughts on Murphy's Law. Let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time on Man V Films.